Six candles for six million Jewish victims of the Holocaust. Prayers. And may they finally rest in peace. Remembering them this Memorial Day. I'm a little bit older than all of you. Really? So never. When were you born? Pardon? When were you born? 25. No. 25? Yes. He's older. Ah, well, you're older. I was born in 27. Right. For these survivors, almost eight decades on, the horrors of their past still permeate their present. All Jews who were in there during the war, they all survived by miracle because yeah. we were all yeah. men to die. <laughs> and they marched through the street singing these blood-curdling songs. You know, when there's Judenblut from Messerschmitz, which means when the Jewish blood spurts from the knife, everything will go better. I was terrified. I think there's an undercurrent of anti-Semitism everywhere. I don't like the Jews. I don't know why. It has been there all along. Anti-Semitism is always there, and it has some reason, and then it, it flourishes, sadly. Figures obtained by Sky News show a 104% rise in anti-Semitic incidents referencing the Holocaust in 2023. Over half happened after the October attacks in Israel, and reports involving Holocaust denial saw an increase of over 260%. It's alarming, it's deeply concerning, in particular that the way the memory of the Holocaust is being distorted at this time when survivors and refugees are sadly dwindling, that community is passing, it seems uh, even more vital that we fight Holocaust distortion. And survivor Lady Milena has made this her life's work. She's travelled to hundreds of schools, educating students about her experience of persecution. A lot of it is based on ignorance. If people don't know what's happened, when they're suddenly being told something, um, while we're still here, we can prove it, it was really true. It needs the young people to learn about the past and for them to try and make the world better. As the nation remembers those who perished, the testimonies of those that survived are more important now than ever. Subba Chowdhury, Sky News.